Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're gonna to be changing the oil in my brother-in-law's 2013 Subaru Legacy. This vehicle is equipped with a 2.5 liter four cylinder motor. The oil capacity is 5.1 quarts and it takes zero W20 synthetic oil. We're gonna walk you through the steps and get the oil changed here. So first steps, obviously you need to warm up the vehicle, take it for a drive, get it up to operating temperature, then bring it into your garage. And we've got it pulled up on some homemade ramps that I've made a video on before. So you can check that video out. I'll post a link to it in the description box below. So these vehicles are equipped with a top loaded filter. You can see right there, that's the filter location on the top right corner of the engine. This is our oil fill location. And then this is our dipstick location right here. The drain plug is on the bottom of the engine, like most vehicles, and it is near the front section of the engine. I'm gonna climb underneath right now and show you. So this is the front of the vehicle. Right there is the drain plug. Not to be confused with that back there, which is the transmission. At first I climbed underneath and I said, wow, that's really far back, but honestly, it's easy to mistake if you don't pay attention. So this is our drain plug. It is a 17 millimeter socket size. I'm gonna go ahead and get the drain pan pulled up and get the socket and we're gonna drain the oil. So it's been dripping for a while now. We're gonna reinstall the drain plug. Now, just a note, these do have a crush washer. We don't have a replacement right now, so we're just gonna reuse the old one. I would highly recommend replacing the crush washer if you have access to one. Um, but we'll just install this, make sure it's nice and tight, and we'll check for leaks later. So we've got the oil drained out of the vehicle. We're gonna go ahead and take off the filter. I've got this universal oil filter removal tool that just attaches to a socket wrench and I'm gonna take this off. Then we're gonna take our new filter. We're gonna just take our finger, grab some of that old oil and lube up the gasket on top here and spin it on. Actually, I'm gonna clean out the inside of this oil filter spot with a paper towel first. And just check to make sure the mating surface is nice and clean, that there's no old gasket left over on the surface here. You wanna make sure the mating surface is nice and clean. That way, if there's old gasket left over from the old filter, it doesn't interfere with the new gasket on the new filter. So we've got that gasket lubed up. We're just gonna spin it on. Make sure you get the threads on correct. You don't wanna cross thread it. Just spin it on, give it a nice good twist on by hand only, as much as you can get it by hand, and that's good enough. The oil fill location is right next to the filter. We're gonna use a little funnel to fill the oil. The capacity on this vehicle is 5.1 quarts. We're just gonna do five exactly, since we don't have 0.1 quarts, it should be perfectly fine. And once again, the oil weight for this vehicle is zero W20. Now that we're done filling the oil, we can remove our funnel and reinstall the fill plug. One more step we're gonna do before we start it up is check the oil level. Now we are on ramps right now, so it's not gonna be 100% accurate, but if it's at least close, that's good enough for me. Then we'll back it out, put it back on flat ground, and check the level once more. And you can just sort of see right there, we're right near that top dot, which means we're probably pretty spot on. Now we're gonna start it up, back it out, and bring it back in. All right, so we're back in the garage on flat ground with the ramps removed. We're gonna check the oil level one more time to make sure we're good.
And that's all there is to changing the oil, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Love it if you subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. We'll see you later.